Well, it just struck, struck me as you were speaking, the other thing that it appeals to in terms of North Americans is, is a, the right wing speak that tells us that we're better than, that we have it together, that we know what democracy is, they don't. And, and so it feeds that sense of, of superiority in, in being advanced. Yes. To, like it's another voice, another element to that, that feeding that sense. Um, and that, that, I think that's all, unconsciously why a lot of people accept it right off on its face. Yeah. I think it's really important to see how that's embedded in a long history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even with the founding of the Canadian nation, uh, uh, Aboriginal women have been presented as, you know, subject to more patriarchal communities. They experience higher levels of violence. But, you know, the, the, the relation to colonialism is never made public. In this elevation of, of Western societies as more civilized, better than, exceptional, more committed to women's rights, more accepting of women's equalities. This has been like a long pattern in the history of colonization. The British, for example, colonized India. And one of the kind of uh, rationales that they presented was they were saving Indian women from dowry deaths, from sati, those kinds of practices. The French did the same in Algeria. They were rescuing uh, Algerian women from being forced, fully kept in the harem, wearing the veil. So this, you know, the, the question of gender has been central to colonial and imperialist projects for a long, long time. And what is really kind of particularly um, uh, depressing for me is how easily that kind of discourse has been accepted so quickly. You know, and especially in Canada, because we really struggle so hard to make the feminist movement an anti-racist movement. But this war on terror has been almost a death blow to anti-racist feminism. Mm -hmm. It has just completely marginalized the kinds of discussions we were having. Immigrant women in this country come to be represented like that. You know, South Asian women are seen as more, more passive, more oppressed than mainstream uh, Canadian women. So it's really a, a, a very depressing that after decades now of anti-racist feminists arguing that we need to challenge these kinds of stereotypes, that after 9-11 they so quickly became adopted even by uh, feminist groups and fem you know, feminist activists.